everybody and welcome to Hey Kids Let's Draw. Thank you for joining us. Today we are going to draw wide receiver superstar T. Higgins of the Cincinnati Bengals. T. Higgins played for Clemson University in 2019, won the NCAA Football National Championship, was drafted 33rd in the first round to the Bengals in 2020. He's a weapon alongside of Jamar Chase for a great quarterback, Joe Burrow. So let's get started here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, of course. We're trying to build our subscribers and see if we can uh, grow this channel. So let's start by finding the center of our page, up and down the center of our page across here. And then we'll draw T. Higgins' head right up here, this cartoon version, okay? Get your dark marker, could be dark gray, could be black. Let's get started here. So up here, we're gonna draw the jaw, T. Higgins' jaw. Let's go down, angle to the chin, angle up, and up. All right, let's do some ears. One ear, two ear, kind of bump the head up. When I say bump, it has this arch on the side. And then we're gonna do this flat, straight across line to connect the head. All righty. So, Let's do some eyes really quick. We'll do some sideways ovals. One and two, about the same size. Let's do some highlights. We're gonna do a small, well, a circle inside the eye over there. We'll do a small circle over here. Those are all gonna stay white. Okay, and let's color the around them with our dark marker. Fill in the eye with the, the black or the dark gray here. The highlights of the eyes, the white circles, those kind of bring your characters to life. Um, when we're drawing people, we always have to leave a white or a couple white spots. So let's get our light blue really quick. I like to fill this area in with a light blue and think that that's like the reflection of the stadium lights off of our character's eyes, off of T. Higgins as he's playing football. Let's do a small eyebrow, one, two, a couple of arches. T. Higgins has smaller eyebrows, so we'll fill those in. Another arch on top and fill that in with black. Looking good. Okay, come down from this eye area, draw a dot. Come down from the edge of this eye, draw a dot. Now that's gonna be the width of the nose. So here we go, we're gonna connect that now. Up down, up, down, and connect the nose. A couple of lines off of the nose there. Cool, looking good. So now T. Higgins is gonna be smiling. He's got this big smile. So here we go. We're gonna go down, up, stop, and up, down, and up. Okay, and then we go down, down, kind of a slant. Now we're gonna connect these two lines with a rounded edge and a flat bottom, there we go. Color the corners of that mouth in with our black marker a little bit. There we go. Now I do a little line underneath the lip and a couple of smile lines curving around that smile edge. T. Higgins has this big, long goatee, these whisker beards, so we scribble that in right off that chin. Okay, it's quite long, at least the picture I refer, I'm using as a reference. All right, looking good, looking good, cool. So, let's draw the neck coming down. One, two, down to a V, and up. All righty, let's do the hair on top. So we're gonna start in the middle. We'll go a bump out and another bump out toward the edge, stop, okay? And then he has a braid that comes down kind of across his face on his, toward his cheek area. Bring it back up, fill that in. He has another one over here, comes down, across his face and up, we'll fill that in with our black marker that's a braid for his hair and then we're gonna bring this 
down here and that's another braid we can fill in a little bit. We'll color this in better in the fast forward. We're just showing you how, um, the basic block in of T. Higgins. So bring that down, maybe curve it out a little bit. A bump on the end for the braid. Bring it up to the head. Fill that in. Kind of color that braid in a little bit. Like I said, we'll fill that in a little bit better. Over here, he might have another one, maybe a shorter one that pops out. Fill that in right there. Same with over here, maybe one pops out over here. And then maybe it goes back behind this braid. See that? Fill that in a little bit there. And one braid that comes down behind his chin and color that in there. Looking good. So we're gonna fill this in um, with our black marker, this hair, on the fast forward. So let's, let's do the shoulder pads really quick. Start at the neck, come across, and curve down. Come across for this shoulder pad, stop, and curve down. Alrighty, you can probably hear the kids screaming in the background. <laughs> So here, let's drop down the waist, straight across for the waist, and connect up to the armpit. And there we go, we got the jersey blocked in. Let's do the football over here. We'll do a curve, do another curve to connect that football shape, and then over here we'll do the four fingers. One, two, three, four circles for the fingers holding onto the football, and a thumb up there. We'll do his arm bump, into the football. Here is the other part of the arm. Bump into the football. All right, and over here, let's do the other arm. We'll go bump out and a bump out. And then bring it down, bring it down to the wrist. We'll extend that thumb out. One, two, three, and four. Do a line, we'll do an orange receiving glove. And do a line up here, this will be black a sleeve, he wears a sleeve on his arm. So let's do the legs, we'll go down and up, down and connect to the waist. We'll do a couple of stripes right here. And his calves, down, down, ankle, down, down, ankle. So on the ankles you can see it's wider up here by the knee and it goes kind of skinnier as we get down to the ankle area. See how that works? Just something to remember when you're drawing. Let's do uh, some big shoes, here we go. Tongue of the shoe, tongue of the shoe. One, two, three bumps for the shoelaces. One, two, three bumps for the shoelace over there. And we're gonna extend this big, fun cartoon clown shoe over to the edge, bring it straight across to the ankle, stop, and connect with an arch, okay? Same thing, bring that arch down. Go clear to the edge of the paper. Up and curve into the shoelaces. Looking good, okay. We'll do a couple of stripes. Add some interest to our receiver's shoes there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to draw a couple of bangle stripes, some tiger stripes, so curve out in like an S point and then up and into the shoulder. Same thing over here. Curve out in like an S point and then up. We're gonna color these in orange in a minute. We're just blocking them in. Blocking them in means just get the shape down and then we'll finish um, all of the details later. Actually, we forgot the mustache. Let's scribble that in real quick so you don't forget that. Gotta remember the mustache, right? Okay, all right, so back to the jersey. So curve down to a point and up. Same thing over here, curve down, up to a point. Another one, curve up, connect, curve up and connect. So those are the tiger stripes. Those are all gonna be orange. So right now we're gonna do the number 85. The eight is uh, a rounded eight, so we'll do kind of an oval shape in 
and an oval shape down, bring it over, up, in, out, and connect. There we go. And now we're gonna do another oval shape right here. Fill that in black, oval shape, fill that in black right there. And we're gonna do the number five. So we start up to the by the eight, go down, straight across, curve up, down and up, cross, bring it down, up, up, over, and this is gonna be an angle, okay? Angle. Connect. Okay. Cool. We have it pretty much done here. So what we're gonna do is in the fast forward, we're gonna color all this jersey black. The stripes will be orange. The pants will be black with some orange stripes. Orange socks. We're gonna do orange shoes with black stripes, flesh color, and an orange stripe on the inside of these numbers. It's gonna be really cool. This is T. Higgins, popular receiver, weapon for the Cincinnati Bengals. Thanks for joining us on Hey Kids, Let's Draw. Look for us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. We love to hear from our fans, love to hear who you'd like to see next. We like to see how your drawings are going, so don't forget to send those to us as well. So fast forward now, thanks for joining us on Hey Kids, Let's Draw.